SF. Um, here with a guilty guilty gear strive video. Um, I know I've been kind of slacking on some of the content for this, but I was going through a character crisis. So anyway, um, I want to talk about Anji for a second. I think we all know about uh, Anji and his fusion. Um, if you haven't dealt with it yet, it's quite the tool, quite the mix-up tool. You know what I mean? He's got plenty of tools after it. You know, he can go for a hop, a low. You know, go for that. Go for an overhead that launches for a combo. And if he has a meter, he can go for the. Uh, he can go for the low. Whoa! If I remember how to do it. You know, RC it and then go get it. Basically, if he has meter, he can get a combo off the low or the overhead. So, seems pretty strong. Seems pretty annoying. And I'm not gonna lie, I got smoked by it for a little while. Until I decided to go into good old training mode, and I figured out how to deal with it. So I figured I would share the wealth and show you how to deal with Anji Mito's uh, mix-up here. It's not a 50-50. Um, he's got multiple options out of it, which makes it good for him, but makes it not a complete guess. So basically, so I'll be Anji here, right? He does Fujin. He can go up to the low, right? Now, the low is relatively safe. You can punish it. But it it, 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 it'll, it can be spaced, like, from here. Let's have Kai block for a second. So, if we have Kai block, right? From this range, there isn't really a button you can press that'll really hit him. So, if it's spaced out, it's relatively safe if he does the low. Now, you can just defend it. You can instant block it. And, um, you can instant block it, and it'll be less pushback. But... Honestly, after the low, you're pretty much good. Like, even though he's safe, it's still your turn. And and if you're close enough, if it's, like, this close, you can punish him with, like, you know, uh, 2K or something like that, depending on your character, you know, 2P, something like that. Um, Then he has the overhead. The overhead is just unsafe on block. It's just completely unsafe on Like, if he does the overhead... Hold on one second. If he does the overhead... I get a whole slash punish, right? So, like, I can get a lot if he goes for that. So, if you read the overhead, you can smoke him for it. Um, and then he has uh, the hop, right? Right? That right there, right? Now, you can, if you know he's going for the throw, you can try to throw him or try to try to take the throw or try to throw him before he throws you. Like, right? You can try to do something like that. Or, <clears throat> you can just smoke him as soon as you see the hop, right? You can just hit him clean out of it. He's not invincible or anything like that. So, when you put it all together, right? The low is the, the, low is the fastest option, right? The overhead is slow. The overhead is reactable, right? I should have showed that first, too. Um, The overhead is reactable. You can literally... React to the animation. I say it's reactable that I get hit. And then block. So that being said, you can actually fuzzy this. Um, if you don't know what I mean by fuzzy, I mean you can block low and then block high after. Or you can just react to it, right? Because the low comes out so fast. The low comes out so fast that you always be ready. See, that's the hop. That's the overhead. That's the hop. I'm getting smoked. Block the low. Hit him out of the hop. Block and punish the overhead. Hit him out of the hop. Block the low. I got smoked by the hop. But you get the point, right? Um, All you got to do is... And I've only been practicing this for like 10 minutes or something like that. It's not like I've spent hours, days, weeks dealing with this. I just spent a few minutes in a lab. So you can literally just crouch block when you see him hop. You can just mash, uh, I was going to say mash dab, but mash 5P, 2P, just mash a really fast button to hit him out of it. I'm sure there are more optimal things to do. Like you could probably 6P and get something really good off of it. But I'm just saying for low level day one type stuff, you can mash him out of it. When you see the overhead, now, with the overhead, right, you can interrupt the overhead too. Like you can interrupt the overhead too. But as you can see, right, if you try to interrupt it in your... Like, if you're too slow, you get counter hit, right? See, that's me doing it right. Now, if I try too slow, I get smoked, right? 
So I don't want to encourage anybody to interrupt the overhead, even though it's possible, because if you do it wrong or, you know what I mean, you mistime it or you try to hit a heavy button and like, you know what I mean, a slash button and you're not fast enough, you will get smoked for big damage. So I encourage you, if you know the overhead's coming, if you can react to it, just block. Like, just just block, like, just block, you know what I mean? It's It's pretty much guaranteed. Why not take the damage, right? Like... Just take the damage. Just take the damage. But yeah, that's basically how to deal with Anji's mix-ups. Um, I want to do a Kai guide. I want to do an Eno guide as well. But I'd have to do it all tonight. So it's going to be a lot of stuff. But anyway, yeah. Don't get uh, smoked by Anji Mito. Just go on the lab and practice this for a little bit. And then when the game comes out, this is uh, the second beta, second open beta, right? Obviously, because Anji's in it. But when the game comes out, try it again. Test it out. Um, See if this still works, right? Like... I'll go to his uh, low option. Like, you can technically punish it, but if I try to, you know what I mean, use a, a better button, I really don't get you. As you can see, right? So, it's technically punishable. So, don't let Anji's blow you up with this. Watch this video, get this tech, and then, yeah, man, go out there. To make it to heaven. Other than that, if y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel. Plan on doing plenty more Guilty Gear content. And I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. JSF, I'm out. Peace.